All right, before we get started, if you want to download the stock images and follow along, just uh, go to my website, noiseworks.com, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then just sign up for my email list. And then once you signed up, it will take you to a link to download all my stock images and my PSDs and things like that. So once you sign up, it will take you to that page, download it, and then once you grab the three stock photos, uh, you can come back and we'll get started with the tutorial. So let's take a look at our layers. First layer that we have is the color balance. As you can see, I use this to add a brownish tint to it. Here's the smoke, a couple of vignette. These are the uh, crack on top of it, the actual text. And then that's the texture that we started from. All right, so let's get started. Let's delete all this. And let's go into our folder. Open Concrete 1, right click, open with Photoshop. And then just right click, duplicate layer. Bring that into our main PSD. Close that. All right, let's zoom out. Now what you want to do is adjust the size of the concrete to fit the canvas. So hit Command T. You can hold Shift and Alt, bring in the corners. If you want, just bring left, top and bottom. And then as you can see, when I'm moving it, you can see there's a like a pink line. To enable that, let me um, hit enter. To enable that, go to view and then go to show and then make sure smart guide is uh, enabled. All right, let's delete this. All right, first thing you want to do is get rid of these cracks because we're going to add our own. So to do that, go over here to the patch tool. Go in, select the area about right here. Bring that up and get rid of that. Just get rid of any of the black dots. Then down here, select all this. Oops. All right now we got rid of that <clears throat> and then next we want to choose our font and the font that I use is called Ash hit T shortcut to bring up the text so let's type it out concrete and then make sure this right here is at zero or you spread it out even more let's do 50 60 is good all right now hit command T and enlarge it and to center it right in the center let's bring in the ruler or well, first Let's have this selected. So when you bring in the ruler, it will snap right in. Because we had the smart guide selected, it will snap right in. So you bring this over here from the left, and then it will snap in the middle. Also, to bring the ruler up, the shortcut for that is Command R or Control R for PC. So now, with this, to line it up center, just hit Command T, and then you want to nudge it to the left. Well, I don't think you can see it. It stays up here. So hit Command T, and you can see this is right in the center. So you want that to be right in the center of the cross that we made. Let's bring that back. Save that. And the other thing I did too on the text, if you bring this up. I made it slanted 
So you go over here, you click on that. All right. Now let's make a copy of the concrete. Shortcut for X, Command J or Control J for PC. And then now go to our text, hold Command, select that, and make a selection around it. Go down to this one and then hit the mask. And just disable this, we don't need it right now. As you can see, you made a mask, but we want to invert the mask. So to do that, hit Command I. So now that will be inverted. So when you enable this, you can't see it. So go down here, select the levels, and we want the levels just to be on top of, let's name all this, you get confusing. Concrete one, and this concrete two. Right, so put the levels on top of concrete one, double click that, and what you want to do is darken it, so bring the mid-tone slider to the right, about to right there, click save, and then just click command H, that will hide the guidelines, alright, so this is a start, so Select these two, uh, Command G to group it, and that concrete one, and then you can group this in its own group. Concrete two. All right. Before we start anything else, what I'd like to do is add the adjustment. So let's add a new group, and then fill it in with black, and then make sure black is selected. And then shortcut to fill it in is Alt Delete. That will fill it in. Select the eraser tool. Shortcut for that is letter E. And then we'll bring the brush size about to right there. Make sure the hardness all the way down. And then basically what we're doing is creating a vignette with this. So about right there. I'm going to do keep that so about right there so I'm going to go back to selection tool and then change this blending mode to soft light and then let's duplicate that again make two copies and go down here to color balance and change the med tone to a reddish yellow so it gives that brown tint so click save, select these three, group that, name that adjustment, that will be our adjustment layer. Alright, let's go to our concrete 2 folder, and what you want to do now is, with this selected, hit command T, hold shift and alt, go to the corner, we just want to enlarge it just a little bit, not too much probably right there so that way it's off the canvas and then now double click that and then select the bevel and you can see it has some uh, bevel adjustment so let's bring this down to three and bring the blending mode of the white let's try hard light yep it looks good bring that all the way up Just leave the shadow same click OK click save on that all right I'm gonna add one more adjustment levels adjustment I want to bring the white down just a little bit probably about to right there so two 243 just a little bit and then on one of the vignette I'm gonna lower it all the way down bring it up slowly maybe about 60 that's good 
All right. Now to add the shadows inside the concrete text, you want to go to our concrete two, hold command, select the mask, it'll make a selection, and go down here, create a new layer. So this one, you want to fill that in with black, make sure black is selected right there, alt delete, command D to, to deselect, let's bring that underneath the concrete layer, it's right here. So with the black selected, you want to nudge it to the right 5 pixel. So you just hit the arrow key to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you can see it added some shadows right there. And with that, change that blending mode to soft light. So you can see before and after. So I'm going to hit save. Uh, I'm going to bring this levels into our adjustment. Alright, next thing we want to add is the smoke. So let's create a new layer. Over here, make sure black is selected and then white is selected. And then go to filter, render, clouds. It will render some clouds. Change the blending mode to screen. And as you can see, it's too much. And to change that is go to image, adjust, levels, shortcut is command L. And just bring the slider up to right there. I'm going to undo that. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep on going filter, render, clouds, until I get something random. Because I want more of the white smoke on the edges. So I'll just keep doing command F, it'll render. So let's try this one. So I hit Command L, bring up the level adjustment, bring the mid-tone slider to the right, click OK. Oh, I see. So bring the smoke above the vignette and bring the slider all the way down, bring it up just a little bit. Oops. We're we'll up to 39%. So before, after. Alright, that looks good. Now let's go to our folder. Let's bring in the concrete 3. Right click, open with Photoshop. And then before we bring it into the other, the main PSD, let's change this to black and white. So hold Command. Alt, the letter U, it'll bring the hue and saturation up, and then you just bring the saturation all the way down, click OK, hold Command L, bring up the levels adjustment. With this, select the white drop, and go down here to the darkest corner, select that, it's about right there, it's good, click OK. So basically we want to make this all white. And just keep this black because when we bring, bring it into our main PSD, we can change the blending mode to multiply. So let's do that. Right click, bring that into a concrete, close this, don't save. You can save it if you want. Bring this down underneath the adjustment but above the concrete too. So let's group this, name this crack, zoom out, hit Command T. Again, Shift, Alt, and I like to bring the corners all the way in. Looks good. Now, let's change the blending mode to Multiply, and then that's how you create it. And to create another one, what I did was, let me see, let's click Undo, Undo. 
So I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to do the same thing. Multiply. Basically, I'm just repeating my step. Shrinking it. Bring it down. The reason why I did that was I want to keep this one just in case I needed to create some more. So let's say I want to create the top crack. So uh, Command J. Duplicate that. Change that to multiply. And we'll create the top one. And I'll shrink it. All right. And then now, same thing. Change that. Multiply. And then to make the smaller ones. All right there. Command T. Rotate this. Have one right there. Command J. Duplicate that. Command T. Rotate it. And one up here. All right, that looks good. Now let's go to our images, bring in Concrete 2, right click, open with Photoshop. Then same thing, hit Command, Alt, and U. And then bring the saturation all the way down, click OK, Command L, take the white drop, select one, select the white area, click OK, right click, Bring this into our main PSD, close this, no need to save, and then we should bring this above everything. Zoom out, hit Command T. Then we bring about right there. And then same thing, multiply. See before, after. Let's go back to our adjustment. The vignette, the one um, I lowered the opacity. I'm just bring that all the way back up again. Thing looks better like this. And that's basically how you create the concrete text effect.